Mark, you mentioned earlier, uh, of course, all, um, including 134, all four of your flights will have been to the International Space Station. So your career essentially has mirrored the expansion and development of this complex. What do you think it's going to be like to say goodbye to your brother at the time of hatch closure, knowing that you're about to pull away and Endeavour will be leaving the station for the final time? Yeah, it's going to be tough. You know, it's, I've seen the space station over what will be over a 10-year period, and I'm not sure if I'll be going back again. So from a personal standpoint, you know, it would be difficult to leave a place that's so amazing and incredible to, you know, it's incredible to live there and to work there. And I'm certainly going to, if it does turn out to be my last flight, I'm certainly going to miss it. Uh, to see Endeavour leave ISS and come back to Earth, you know, when we come to full stop on, on the runway, hopefully at the Kennedy Space Center, it would be a little bit sad to see Endeavour rolled off to, uh, into a museum. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's, you know, it's, I think it's what we need to do in order to eventually get out of low Earth orbit and, and explore. And Scott, for you, uh, what do you think it's going to be like to say goodbye to Mark, knowing that you're just days away from coming home yourself uh, to Kazakhstan? Well, you know, I'm not sure what day they undock. I think probably around the maybe the March 8th or 10th or something like that. I land. The plan is to land on the uh, 16th. I'll be home on the 17th, so I'll just see him in you know a week or so later. You guys have plans uh, once your flying careers are over? My, I hope my flying career isn't over. I'd like to fly again if I the opportunity presents itself so I don't look at this as my last flight you know assuming everything goes well I don't mind being in space for almost six months I think I'd, uh, I'd like to have another opportunity to fly another long duration flight and this is a thing that's very difficult to give up you know it's very hard for people to put you know flying space missions behind them and yeah I'm focused on STS-134 now and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do later after I land. But, you know, it's a, it's a hard thing to, uh, to retire from. So I think there's a real possibility that I could be, you know, maybe making a fifth trip to the space station. It would be on a uh, Russian Soyuz, or maybe it would be on a new U.S. spacecraft in five or six years. What advice do each of you have for kids, twins, siblings growing up together, um, about future aspirations in life, uh, what what path would you steer them down? I don't think we give specific twin advice, but the kids, you know, I always tell them, you know, you're doing yourself a really big favor to do as well as you can in school. I mean, it's like the best gift you can give yourself, because then you put yourself in an opportunity in in the position where you can make choices, and if you do don't do well in school, you don't have so many choices. I also encourage people to try to find something that they're really interested in, you know, because it makes going to work, you know, great every day. It's, a, you know, it's something you want to do. If you're not interested in it, you know, you're probably not going to be, you're probably not going to want to do it. You're probably not going to be very good at it either. Well, you know, a lot of times we'll do these public appearances and kids will ask about, you know, I'd like to become an astronaut someday. What, what advice do you have? And, and what I tell them is, you know, you need to put yourself in the best, uh, um, you know, in the best position to, to, you know, further your career, and that means having a good education, doing well. Um, but as far as being an astronaut, I think it's important that they choose something that they like and they're interested in, because if, if they like it and they're interested in it, they're, they're generally going to do better in it, and, you know, NASA looks at, looks at people that have done well in their career, but also because we spend, you know, as, as adults, a lot of time at work. And I think it's more important that you uh, do something that you like um, rather than do, doing something just for the sake of, you know, you think it might lead to this other opportunity. Um, there's not a whole lot of astronauts out there. There um, are a lot of people that are qualified, but, you know, the only way you would ever, uh, you know, have a chance of, 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 you know, getting this job is if you, if you try and put yourself in the best position um, that you can. And finally, when you look back at growing up as twins, your education, your military service, your respective careers with NASA, 
and your contributions to the space program, what's going to be the most significant moment for you if you can pick one out, uh, that one nugget that you'll cherish for the rest of your life? Well, I think for me, I was a commander of STS-124, which installed the Japanese laboratory on the space station, which was a significant uh, piece of the Japanese space program to get the opportunity to to do that and work with Japan, have a Japanese crew member on board, have a great crew, successfully accomplish that mission is certainly is is the highlight now, and I hope STS-134 goes as well and we successfully get AMS and our other payloads installed and transferred. But, you know, having the opportunity to command the uh, space shuttle two times is certainly going to be the highlight of my career. My goals for uh, Expedition 26 is that, you know, primarily we don't hurt, any, hurt anyone, then we don't break anything, and we complete all the mission, primary mission objectives. And if I can do those three things, um, you know, I'll be satisfied and, and that you know, to me, will be the, uh, you know, the highlight of my uh, my career as an astronaut to date. Scott Kelly, Mark Kelly, twin brothers, commanders, poised for a very unique moment in space together, if all goes as planned. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank Rob. you, Rob.